Hey, hey, Cancer, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your December 2022 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Cancer, so please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links, Cancer, in the description box below. All right, so the key themes that are showing up for you in the month of December, we have belief system, perspective, and lastly, we have the bliss card, which is the happiest card in the deck. It's like the sun card in tarot. So what I'm sensing here for you intuitively is you are shifting, changing, and altering your frequency, your energy to align you with the things that bring you more success, more happiness, more love, the things that you really want on that deeper level, I feel like you are eliminating any distractions and you are paying attention to the internal programming that you have here. Any limiting beliefs that may be holding you back. This is about reprogramming and updating. Think of it as a computer system. We need software updates to keep that computer system running. That is the same with our beliefs. In order to keep running at a smooth function and to align us with the things that we want in our lives, we need to update and upgrade our belief systems. So some of you may be paying attention to your self-talk. You may be working on affirmations, working with the law of attraction, reading books like The Power of Now or The Secret. For others of you, you may be paying attention to that, that self-talk, that dialogue that goes on consistently throughout your day. If you're noticing that your self-talk is more negative or maybe it is the self-talk telling you that you're not good enough, you're unworthy, you don't have enough money, you'll never find love, whatever that talk is could be built on that limiting or negative belief that you don't deserve what is coming into your life. So I'm certainly sensing that some of you are figuring this out for yourself and you're changing the dynamic here. And it has to do with perspective. When you start to shift the way you see things uh, internally, your outer world starts to change for the better when you take on a more optimistic, positive approach to life. This is about gaining a new point of view, taking a look at it from a higher perspective, maybe even gaining professional advice if need be, because sometimes when we're so closely involved in a situation, our emotions can get involved and tangled up, and we're not quite sure how to see it from that new point of view. So it may be important to speak to someone, uh, a professional, a healer, a therapist, a guide, a coach, a mentor to help you overcome any limiting beliefs that you have that are holding you back. Now, some of you also are gaining clarity this month, Cancer. If something has been mind boggling or if it's been uh, hazy or unfocused or unclear, I do sense that clarity is coming your way this month and it's going to lead you straight towards a lot more abundance, a lot more happiness, success. This bliss card is about creating that heaven on earth. And some of you may not believe that that's possible or you've thought that your dreams would never manifest or you wouldn't be able to bring something to life or bring something to fruition here. This is saying, yes, you absolutely will, but you must shift your perspective and take a look at any beliefs that may be holding you back from creating the things that you want here on earth. This is about happiness, sunshine, freedom, wish fulfillment. So a lot of you are getting rid of something that could be quite toxic to your energy. Now we do have the devil card showing up here right off the bat. So I'm sensing that going into December, you're still working on something that may have a hold of you. It could be a belief, a toxic work environment. It could be a person, a relative, a partner, a child, someone who maybe is pulling the strings here and you want to reclaim your power. You want to feel uh, good about the direction you're going in, but something may have steered you in a, a different direction or may have pulled you off course. So this could be addictions. It could be obsessions, fears, manipulation, codependency, even materialism. Anything that tempts you or veers you to go in a different direction than what it is that you truly want here. 
So the devil energy, I feel like you're reclaiming your power. You can see that gorgeous butterfly in the back and it's emerging from, from this uh, darkness or from this space that that it holds lower vibration here. And I'm just sensing with this beautiful orange and yellow, you're reclaiming your power. That holds uh, power in that sacral chakra and solar plexus chakra. So the relationship that you have with yourself and others, you're setting healthy boundaries. I feel like you may be putting a creative twist on the way you see things. And also you're bringing more fun into your life, which I really love to see here. So the devil energy shows up first, but that's wonderful because the next card is the fool. So once you release some sort of attachment to whatever this devil may be for you, it's going to allow you this perspective shift that we see up here in order for you to say yes to this new beginning here, Cancer. When this fool card shows up, it says that you're willing to take a leap of faith. You're willing to put some sort of risk or chance or spontaneity into a brand new direction and I feel like your soul is guiding the way here and you know that so there is an innate trust within you there's a little bit of fear but that fear is okay as long as it doesn't hold you back keep you stuck or make you run in the opposite direction that fear is needed uh, in this human form but I'm sensing you're not letting fear make the decisions in your life any longer. There's a new beginning coming in here for you. And I feel like December is the perfect time for you to tie up loose ends, get clear on what it is that you really want. So you can go into 2023 feeling refreshed, feeling revitalized. And most importantly here, having that clarity that you need in order to manifest what it is that you want. Sometimes that's why manifestations don't work for people is because uh, they may say, well, I want to win the lottery. I want a uh, million dollars. I want all this money. But what is, you know, what is the belief behind it? Why do you want that money? How is it going to make you feel when you get there? So I'm sensing that you're getting clear on what it is that you want precisely, and you are taking one step closer to whatever that may be. Some of you may say, well, I want to lose weight. Yes, you, you've planted a seed, but how can you lose weight? How much weight would you like to lose? And what is uh, maybe a plan for you? Is it eating healthier? Is it mixing exercise in? It, do you have certain goals that you would like to achieve by certain dates? So I'm setting, uh, seeing here that not only are you planting the seed, but you're taking the steps and the, the action plan to move forward here. Now we have the queen of voices showing up here, Cancer. This is the queen of swords, Libra and energy. So you may be thinking quite logically about your future ahead, uh, things that need to be done. Some of you have let your emotions make the decisions for you. Now there's a difference between logic and uh, emotion. Sometimes emotions, like I said earlier, can get intertwined and they can get caught up in maybe this devil energy here at times where the emotions can be fear, jealousy, anger, resentment, bitterness. Those are human emotions that we have here. But I feel like you are, you're getting into a place where you're using your logic to move forward here and make decisions based on integrity, based on truth, based on honesty. And this comes from self. So the queen of swords, she gets clear on what she wants. She's full of uh, intelligence. She can be a little bit opinionated, but I feel like you are doing that for yourself. You're setting healthy boundaries. And once you have that clarity that you need, there's no stopping you here, Cancer. So very powerful. There could also be a Libran energy coming into your life. Uh, there could also be a wise, mature woman that gives you that logical information or clarity that you need. It may be, again, a therapist, a healer, a coach, a mentor, a mother, a sister. It doesn't have to just be feminine or female energy here, but the queen of voices, uh, she's soft as well, but she's very logical. She doesn't believe in uh, the fairy tale foo-foo of sugarcoating things. She, she tells you how it is so you can make that next step to do it. If she says uh, you need to lose weight, this is how you do it. She's not going to say, oh, but you can eat a cookie every day. And sometimes, uh, you know, it's okay to do this. And yes, it absolutely is okay to have certain cheat days and things of that nature, but she's going to, she's going to kind of come on a little bit hard and 
I feel like that's what's needed or required. Not so much the hardness, but the bluntness of getting something done, cutting something out once and for all. That's kind of the energy I'm getting here. She gets straight to the point, whether this is someone in your life, Cancer, or this is yourself getting straight to the point saying, this is what I need to do. Now I'm doing it. The moon card talks about emotions, which sounds kind of counterintuitive here, but I feel like this is about gaining clarity over things that have clouded your judgment possibly in the past. This is about intuition. This is about things being exposed, whether it is exposure of maybe secrets, it could be lies, it could be things behind the scenes that your intuition probably knew all along here, Cancer. I feel intuitively it did, but sometimes we put on that rose-colored lens, as you can see here with the perspective, rose-colored lens, and we only want to see what we only want to see. Sometimes we put a blindfold on and we, we're not ready to take that next step. And sometimes we, we do that for self-protection or because we still need to learn a lesson. The moon card says clarity is coming here. Just trust that your, uh, your higher self is leading the way forward. You have the 10 of inspiration and the empress showing up here in the near future. So I feel like you're willing to put in the hard work, whatever this is. If you want to start your own business, Cancer, if you want to attract a soulmate or love, if you want to forgive or mend a relationship maybe with a family member or a friend that you've had a falling out with. If some of you want to tell your boss that you would like a raise, you don't feel like you're being recompensed for your hard work, or some of you may be thinking about resigning and going to a different uh, career path or even retiring, whatever it is for you, Cancer, I feel like you have everything within you to keep on going. You may take on a lot in this lifetime. A lot of you can't Syrians, you feel so deeply, therefore you may carry heavy burdens. But this is about eliminating the burdens that aren't yours to carry any longer. Even if it's something of the deep, deep past, or if it's someone else's burdens, you're realizing that it's not your responsibility because you are at times physically, mentally, spiritually exhausted. And this is about bringing in others to lighten the load and kind of help you gain that perspective needed, whether it's talking to a trustworthy friend or again, a professional. But I feel like you're heading towards this new beginning, but you're willing to kind of put in the work. You're willing to meet the universe halfway. You should be proud of yourself, Cancer, because I feel like this has been a long time coming for you to either walk away from something or to transform. Some of you felt like you were possibly in that cocoon stage or that uh, you know temptation stage where that lower energy in the background there like you've been wanting to rise above for quite some time but for some reason you just felt like you were stuck in that lower frequency it could have been again a toxic situation it could be limiting beliefs that were built many many years ago uh, that you weren't quite sure how to release or get rid of get ready here cancer because you're about to spread those wings and really take off. I feel like you're about to surprise yourself, but deep down you knew that you had it within you all along. Your final tarot card here is the Empress, which I love because this is all about success, abundance. The Empress is about creativity and feeling maternal and sexy and nurturing and anything that this Empress puts her her attention on will grow and she knows this as well but there's so much that she has that she's able to touch the lives of many so i feel some of you regarding your career you may be really stepping up whether you are a business owner or you work for someone else i feel like you're taking it to the next level you're really growing you're really nurturing some of you are are hitting the top here uh, it could be that you're shifting gears in December and you're going to start to see the more income flow towards possibly the end of the year or even the first quarter of uh, 2023. This Empress energy, some of you may be feeling very, very loving, very nurturing. You may want th things to grow and I'm getting self-growth, self-discovery for yourself. You've been going through a process of self-discovery, but now that you kind of know how to navigate through these energies, I feel like you're taking something and you're making it happen. I really like this. The Empress makes things happen. She uh, is very abundant and 
I feel like you're growing within yourself. Uh, I really like the energy of this card. You can see it almost looks like there's lemons up top there. So some of you may be literally turning... Um, turning lemons into lemonade. So there could have been a situation with this devil energy. The reason why you were stuck in this for so long is for you to come out on top. Maybe you had to work in that uh, that career or that atmosphere or that energy for five years, 10 years, 20 years for you to save up or for you to build those stepping stones for you to take off and build your own business or for you to retire uh, for others of you. Some of you, I just heard you are nesting, uh, could be empty nesting. You may have someone leaving the nest as well, or maybe even entering. The Empress is quite fertile. If you are looking to maybe start a family, it may be a, a perfect time for you to do so. And it doesn't mean that you have to become pregnant. You could give birth or life to, uh, you know, pets as well. You may adopt a pet or uh, have a, a pet come into your life that is like a child's. This could also be nurturing and caring for another person in your life that is like a child as well. So I am sensing a coming together. Now, regarding career and money, we have the crown and we have the coins. So again, this does look really wonderful. And the Empress wears uh, that crown as well. So if you've had money obstacles, Cancer, in the past, or if you've had anybody in your environment or the atmosphere that was maybe going through a power play or a power struggle, uh, I feel like you're accumulating more wealth. I'm just getting this energy of rising above any obstacles or challenges. Now, some of you may have dealt with the Queen of Swords at your workplace. She can be quite blunt, quite opinionated as well. I feel like you're rising above a situation. This is about uh, becoming your own owner or boss, or for some of you, this is about taking charge within your company or within your sector here. Some of you are leveling up, getting a promotion, or you're making progress within your own business. And you're going to see that money really starts to flow in in 2023 here for you. I just heard here you are a money magnet, so Cancer... If you struggled in regards to money, I feel that you are investing wisely. You may be investing your actual money, your time, your energy. I feel like you're being supported and there could be someone such as a financial advisor that may be helping you out. There could be a loan or a bank uh, that is coming in here in the next three months for you as well. Some of you are certainly getting a raise or you may get some sort of a windfall. Now you may work in sales and finance, but I feel like some of you may be learning about different, uh, it could be 401k plans or it could be cryptocurrency. Some of you are learning more about money or finances as well. You may be learning about investments or how to invest. Maybe you are getting certified to become a real estate agent or uh you may be also thinking about putting your money in a certain place or a certain uh, spot or to a certain energy that can really grow that you can capitalize on. Uh, so again, it's time, money, energy, and effort is going to really take off here because you're choosing wisely. And I feel like the investments coming in for you and the ones that you're heading towards are going to be quite quite strong into retirement here even. You're going to have plenty. If you've struggled with that in the past, remember all of the hard work that you've done here, I feel like it's bringing you to this place of bliss. It really will here. This is all about abundance, creating that heaven on earth that you want for yourself. Some of you have also hit a very important milestone when it comes to your finances. Maybe you've paid off debt. For others of you, you may have gotten that raise that you've always wanted, or if you are a business owner, uh, you may have hit a milestone or some sort of achievement that really gets that next chapter of money flow coming in quite strong. Now, when it comes to love, we have here retreat. And we also have you deserve love. So regardless of your relationship status here, Cancer, you are lovable and you deserve love. Some of you may be looking to open up your heart even more so and attract and align the energy that you want to see from a partner. You may be manifesting a soulmate. For others of you, if you are in a relationship, you may be wanting to disconnect from the world. There could be holiday time, travel, or you may be wanting to just... Uh, renew your vows in a sense. It doesn't mean physically, but you may want to reignite that spark. There may have been something 
that veered in different directions. Maybe you've been with the same person for quite some time, or maybe you've just been focusing on your career or, or children or other things. But I'm sensing that there is a spark that can be reignited if that is what you want here. But no cancer with everything in you that you are lovable. I mean, after all, you came from love. Now, what do we have from your soul's truth? Am I consistently showing up? Some trade their dreams for comfort, yet comfort is the enemy of progress. Success requires showing up every single day, even when you don't feel like it and even when it feels uncomfortable. It takes guts and an endless vision to stay consistent to your dreams. Today's soul action, Cancer, journal where you can be more consistent in your life in alignment with your soulful goals. Then show up. Yes, one of my favorite sayings is, uh, actions speak louder than words. However, consistency speaks louder than both actions and words. Consistency is that cherry on the top that really gets things rolling. We can... We can do something once, absolutely, and that's action, but unless we continue to do it over and over, it's really just kind of talk in that talk. So consistency is very important here. So make sure if it is, you know, starting to be, get healthier, that you are consistent with eating healthier and working out. If this is a business idea that you have, make sure that you're contributing every single day. If this is you know, wanting a uh, new love, make sure you're aligned with that energy every day of manifesting, keeping your heart open, taking a step towards new love here. And then we have name all the things you love. Are you one of them? Today's mantra, I give myself all the love and attention I need. So a big key that a lot of people don't realize uh, when it, it comes to attracting a soulmate or attracting love if you're single and looking cancer is that we have to focus too on our self-love. Date yourself and uh, see how that feels. Take yourself out to dinner. Uh, rearrange your house or clean your house as if you would uh, have company over. Make sure that you're not waiting for that person to go have fun, to enjoy that movie or that dinner or that outfit or that song. You can start to get in the flow of love by dating yourself. <laughs> But love yourself, most importantly here. Now, what we have from uh, the animal spirit is we have spider. And it says, make your dreams real. So a common theme here within your reading is manifesting your dreams. Heaven on earth. You have what it takes to release whatever this devil energy has hold on you. And a lot of times it can be our own self-sabotage, our own restrictions, our own thoughts, our own mind, our own emotions that hold us back. Now, lastly, from your spiritual team, we have here, now this can be your ancestors, loved ones in spirit, it can be pets, animals. We have here support. It says people come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and they move on, while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. So I am sensing that some of you have felt maybe lack of support, like you didn't have the right people by your side. If that is you, Cancer, I feel like you're attracting, especially with this Empress energy and that Bliss card, you're attracting your soul tribe or you may be attracting helpful people that can come help you release some of the heavy burdens that you've carried or you felt like you've had to walk a lonely path or an isolated path here. Some of you also have loved ones. They're giving me the name here, Lynn or Lynette. Maybe it's a middle name or it could be someone's parent uh, or sister or maybe it's your name, Lynn or Lynette. But please know that you are supported. Uh, each and every one of you, you are supported not just in the physical in some sense, uh, but the, the spiritual world. You have a lot of support and a lot more than a lot of us realize. So support. There's something here fragile, uh, something that is fresh. I feel a new beginning. You can see the egg there. So I am sensing that there's a new beginning here coming in with a person that is very vital or very important to your soul's journey. Next, we do have soul solitude. And perhaps that's why the retreat card came up because you may be looking to go off on your own for a bit or just take some downtime, Cancer. 
Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, and a time for you. This is like the window of the soul here that you can see, and I'm sensing that Things are starting to get rolling here. Some of you may also be getting signs and symbols from the universe, whether it's in the form of pennies. Um, I just heard here pennies from heaven, pennies from heaven. So some of you may be receiving or seeing a penny. Uh, pay attention. You may find a penny or a coin within the next two to four weeks. And that is signs from spirit that you're not alone and that you absolutely have everything within you to manifest heaven on earth here for yourself. And last but not least, Cancer, self-love. And it says, now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Hello, Empress Energy. It says, self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. And you can see the single rose there. And that's what we were talking about earlier with the self-love. If you are single and looking, or maybe you're feeling great, make sure you still take care of yourself and put yourself first. Some of you have a limiting belief that putting yourself first is selfish. It absolutely is not. If anything, our earth needs to realize that we need to take better care of ourselves. We need to love ourselves so then uh, we can role, be the role models to inspire others to take care of themselves as well. So self-love is something you're really truly growing into more and more and appreciating a lot of gifts, skills, and talents because a lot of you are quite bright. You have skills and talents that uh, possibly you don't give yourself enough credit for. I feel like you have these wonderful gifts that are authentic to you, Cancer. Don't dim them. Don't hold back. Whatever it is that you have here, you are manifesting your dreams into this 3D world. So whatever this devil energy is, do what you can to cut the cords or to reclaim your power here so you can live your best life. You have a lot of wonderful things coming in for you, especially uh, in 2023, but the key to it all is perspective. All right, Cancer, that is what I have for you. Very powerful reading, especially for those of you that are making career changes or you're looking for growth and career. If you are looking to maybe heal, focus on self-love, family dynamics, nurturing and growth, that looks very beautiful. And also, I am getting something with health. If you've struggled in your health mentally, physically, spiritually, I feel like you will be getting wise advice to take a new direction. That is what I have for you, Cancer. I certainly hope it resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly does help get the divine channel messages out there to those that need it most. Lots of love, Cancer. Thanks so much for tuning in.